Hey guys, this is Shoddy here. Welcome to episode 91 of Sit Down with Shoddy. Today I'm playing Street Racers on the Sega Mega Drive. I know this had releases on other consoles as well, I believe the SNES and even the uh, PS1 had releases. And it could be some other consoles as well, but they're the only, these are the only three that I'm aware of. But yeah, I also wanted to apologise for the lack of video during the past week and a bit. Well, probably just, yeah, about a week and a bit, I would say. Um, as I said in the last video, my mental health kind of been in the shit house recently, so I figured, you know what, better to take care of my mental health, and it would probably lead to a uh, poorer video as well, because I'd just be sounding depressed and all that. Wait for that to take a little bit of a hit, or wait for that to take, get a little bit better, I should say. And yeah, because when I'm in a depressed state, um, basically, I always sound really boring, um, yeah, basically, my voice wouldn't be, really be up to scratch, um, I'd sound like, you know, a lot sadder than I usually do, so, yeah, that's, just, that's the thing with these depressive episodes, um, this makes my, um, life really, really bad, uh, especially my YouTube life, if anything, but, anyway, I'm feeling a little bit better now, I still haven't gone away completely, but, it's definitely a lot better than it was before. But anyway, we've entered this race war, we have for about 50 seconds now, but basically, I think think of a kart racing version of Road Rush is what this game is, um, you can basically hit people, unfortunately you can't really direct, um, you can't really choose what direction you want to hit in, like it has to be character specific I believe, like for this character, I forget his name to be honest, but you have to, you can only hit from the left, so, which is kind of unfortunate because there's many situations like right here for example where I wish I could hit to the right but yeah unfortunately in this game you can't really do other than that it's a good game like it, yeah it's probably it's not the, for a 16-bit kart racer like I understand like maybe for the PS1 this game probably wouldn't be recommended although it wasn't really early to release as far as I can tell so uh Maybe back in those days, maybe back when it was released, it still would have been worth it for the PS1. But for stuff like the SNES or the Mega Drive, um, I would say it's worth it um, for the time, for those consoles anyway. I mean, what good kart races were there on 16 bit consoles? You had Super Mario Kart, you had BC Races, or that, that wasn't really a good game, and that wasn't even 16 bit, I believe. Well, it may have been released on the Mega Drive, but I remember it from the 32X and the Sega CD, so... Yeah, that's a bit suspicious. I mean, I'm not quite sure about that as I finish the second of the race, but yeah, um... Yeah, I'm not quite sure if BC races actually got a release on the 16-bit uh, consoles. What I, I can't think of any other kart races, to be honest. Oh, I can think of many racing games. I can think of the F1 Circus series, Final Stretch, which I did a video on. Um, of course you got the Road Rush games, um, what else, what other racing games were there, there was um, Stunt Racer on the SNES, you had the Lotus games, Micro Ship Machines, it's probably, I wouldn't call that a kart racer, but it's probably the closest I can, example to another kart racer that I can actually think of, but yeah, I can't think of anything else, so, yeah, for, Look, for those two consoles, the SNES and the Mega Drive, then this game's pretty well worth it because it doesn't play too badly. There's no weapons, but other than yourself, but and the control, um, the steering can be a little bit weird at times. As I'm going wide, I'm, I was trying to balance my speed and everything, but yeah, it wasn't really working too well for me. But yeah, I'm currently second in the standing. Well, obviously, I've only finished one race so far. I believe this was a three lap race. No, was that the font? Did I see a final lap message there? But uh, yeah, I know there's one track which um lasts for three laps, but the others go for four and five. So, but I'm not quite. Sure. No, it wouldn't be this lap. That wouldn't be this course. No, obviously, because I just passed it without finishing the race. But yeah, as you can see, this helmet guy or helmet. I believe it's how you pronounce it. He's basically my, he's basically he's basically the, the competitor who, who had the most challenge for me. As long as he's a beach girl guy, uh, beach girl chick. Um, yeah, uh, they ended up being the biggest challenges. Basically, it's kind of like in Mario Kart where 
if you see a, com a couple competitors in like the first race do pretty well, they're going to do well for the rest of the tournament. Which makes sense because if it was all random, then uh, well, basically, as Helmet actually got, he got me on the line somehow. I didn't believe. How well, how big was the gap? Did it tell me? Oh, 0 0.04, 0, 4 one thousand. God damn! I've got a punch bonus point there, but yeah, basically, as I was saying, it's basically a Mario Kart where the first, like, the leaders of the pack, um, basically win. I mean, they're going to do well each course, which doesn't make sense because, well, otherwise, championship would be pretty. If you were up near the front, then it would be pretty easy to win. If, points get getting swapped. Uh, pretty much all racing games do this, so not even just kart racing, even simulations. Although to be fair, simula like true simulations like F1 2016 do it because well real life it mimics real life. But also games like Dirt Rally which are simulation games that aren't really based on any well they're based on very real form of like racing but I don't believe Dirt Rally is licensed or anything. And I and I'm bringing that up because I've been playing it recently. Basically they are uh, the guys who do well in like the first stage or whatever, the first track, whatever, they're always going to do well for the rest of the championship because they don't want to make the championship too easy for a player to win, so... It's pretty much like this in every racing game, so I can't fault the game. I... I... I mean, at least... I can't really... Com I can't commend the game, but... I mean... It's pretty simple stuff, really. But at least they didn't stuff it up, so... Yeah, and... Courses are based on real tracks. I know, I know one of them for sure. Because I was watching a review on the PS1 version by I, f I always forget the guy's name. He's the guy who does the wrestling talk videos. So search up wrestling talks and you'll be able to search him up. But he's mostly a video game reviewer. But uh, yeah, he did a he didn't he did like a video on like racing games and all that, like obscure racing games. And he brought the PS1 version up on this. So. I watched that like a couple of weeks ago. I, I, I don't even know if I was influenced. I, I can't remember being influenced by his video to actually play this, so I was kind of chosen at a random since uh, my website of choice is um, kind of down at the moment. To play these games are kind of down, so I had to get all the ROM files I had. Yeah. I just decided to play, pick this one out after setting everything up. But yeah, Helmut actually managed to finish in front of me again. Three races in, there's six races in the championship, or at least in this championship, the Bronze Cup. I don't know if this increases um, as the game goes on. Oh, I assume it may, but actually no. I remember in that re PS1 review, I mean PS1 review, they, he said it, they only had like four courses. So either this kind of repeats it. This game actually repeats courses, or there's no more than six courses in a um, championship, it's only the AI that gets harder. And yeah, there's technically weapons, I should have said this early, there's no weapons you can actually pick up and use, they're all on the ground. Sometimes it can be like boosts, sometimes it can be those little TNT things which blow up on you eventually. Um, oh, yeah, the um, up buttons are the boost, um, and the TNT things. Is there anything else? Um, I believe there was one, oh yeah, there was those um, star things, well, there, there was also a repair. Um, thing that a spanner there, but to, that repairs your cart. But there's also these little star things, which basically once you hit it, they're kind. I believe it's supposed to be explosion. But basically, if you hit it, your cart spins out for a bit and it damages your cart. Um, yeah, basically that's the point of them. But yeah, there's no weapon you can pick up and use. But there is obstacles on the track you can use or have to avoid. But as you can see, Helmut. I'm actually in front of Helmut here, which is always good. And as you can see, I'm just gonna. I don't know, I thought this was a free lap race for a sec, but yeah, um, I got the lead, which is nice, and Helmut's still in third, which is always good, but as I run wide there, one run wide there, I completely uh, got taken, it. I got past the lead, and I got hit by explosion, now I hit Helmut out of the way, which is always nice, because the further back Helmut happens to be, the uh, better chance I got of winning this championship, so... Yeah, I'm coming up to the sumo. I believe it's just named sumo, so I don't believe they have like real like character names or anything like personalities. They're just basically profession. But yeah, he hits one of those explosion things, and I'm gonna come straight through for the win, thankfully. I, 
if that if that straight went on just a little bit longer, he probably would have catched me there. I just noticed that, but thankfully I made sue my son's his name. Yeah, so a real creative name I guess. But fortunately, Helmet did get an extra point for fast as that. But I'm only four points in front of him, so at this point I've kind of because after round three I kind of felt like I had kind of little chance of um winning the race. And by the way, I've always messed up these starts. I don't know how to get a good start. I don't know if, you, if it's like a Mario Kart where you have to kind of accelerate, I mean, kind of have to accelerate right at the right time. But yeah, I've never been able to get a good start. I've always been so far behind these guys at the start, so it always leads on me having to chase up to them. It, it's good for this video because it means I'm not going to be burning out in front all day. But, uh, the, like, the harder cups, I'm assuming you kind of need to practice the starts a little bit, so yeah, um, if I was actually playing through this game for like real, or like with the purpose of actually beating it, my starts would probably be something that I'd really need to practice on. But I swear that was one race that only lasted three laps, but maybe I'm, um, maybe I'm, um, just tripping out here, maybe I, because I didn't, I played this a couple days ago, um, during my little break, I decided to record a couple videos, not too many, so including this video, I've got six ready to record, so although after this video, it'll just be five, so I'm just going to have to go for another recording session in the new future. But yeah, I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to promise daily uploads, because as I said, my mental state still hasn't completely, like, recovered yet, so, like, if I'm... I definitely want to make a video, like, I definitely want to make videos daily, but my mental health and everything to do with that is far more important, to be honest. Because as much as I enjoy making these, um, there's got to be some sort of quality control to this, so... Yeah, obviously, if I'm depressed and everything, it's going to reflect in these videos, I'm going to sound a lot more sadder. And also, I've got a good name for my blog series as well, so you can look forward to that as well. Because I do want to start up that pretty soon as well as I finish third there, but thankfully in front of Helmut, so um, yeah, I managed to get a couple points on him. I believe I get two points in front of him. I believe I get an extra point though. Do I? Yes, I do. I get a star bonus. Okay, so I didn't even realize that star bonuses were a thing until now. But yeah, here's um, Sydney, by the way, which obviously I know this because I live here. Well, I don't live in the city exactly, I live just about 30 minutes away from west. Um, but yeah, I've seen this, I've seen these, I've seen the Harbour Bridge in the Opera House many, many times, so. Yeah, obviously. And you got your old, you know, towers and everything. Surprisingly, you know, like Sydney sky skyscrapers or anything, but. I mean, some of them look like skyscrapers, but. Yeah, basically, it kind of does. Even though this is from like 1993, 1994. Kind of does paint a really realistic view of Sydney, I would just have to say. I mean, obviously it's a little bit simplistic, but I mean, there's a lot more activity on the waters and on the harbour and shit, but other than that, it's actually a pretty realistic, um, just for like a 16 bit version of Sydney, then you can't really go, you can't really expect better. You can't expect like boats and shit running around and everything. You can't expect some of the um, little, like, um, you can't expect like, Manly or Bondi Beach. If, oh no, maybe those are, maybe those are supposed to be a beach up there. I don't know, it could be Bondi, I'm not sure. Although, to be fair, Bondi is actually quite far away from, you know, the city centre, so... Yeah, it wouldn't be too realistic if it's Bondi. Manly would probably be a better guess, but even still... You do have to take a ferry to actually get to Manly, so... Maybe it's... Maybe it's... I don't, I don't think it's actually a beach, so... It does look like sand, but it looks more like a park area to me. Which, you know, it does make sense because there are parks in Sydney, believe me, but... I'm not saying there's as many, they're as famous as, like, New York Central Park or anything, but they, they exist. I will say that. But yeah, as you can see, I'm in a tight race in the last lap with, um, my arm um, helm up for the championship here. I managed to knock him out just at the last lap. At this point, I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm actually so dead because, as you see at the top, my life bar's completely gone. I don't end up winning the race, but thankfully Helmut finished in fourth, I finished in second. And guess what that means? Alright, wait for it, wait for it. I think you know what's coming up. Yep, I'll win the championship by five points. 
and I get rewarded with the bronze cup, so that's nice. And you get a pass with the silver cup. Don't I'm not bothering with that. Thankfully it's on video, so if I do decide to get back to it, I know what to type in, so. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um tune in hopefully tomorrow for the next episode. As I said, may not happen, but I'm hoping it will. Hopefully my mental health stays in check. But yeah, um, next episode should hopefully be a good one. So yeah, I will see you guys then.